Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Max. Thank you so much for stopping by. I super duper appreciate it. And yes, I have a bunch of flowers all over my face and I'm sitting in front of a window so my lighting is really bright right now. I'm gonna try and close the blinds a little. See if that helps. Um, I want it bright but I don't want it to be like glare um i have my sephora haul today for you so let's get into that i haven't filmed in a while um so i definitely wanted to jump on here and do that when i i did the order the first day rouge could which was like april 26th and i got one of my packages like within two days it was super fast and then the other one took forever to get here so i finally have everything and I'm ready to show you. I've been using a lot of this stuff uh, for the past week, so I do have a couple first impression kind of things for you to do. Let's talk about this product first. I am testing out a new hair color, and it is in my hair right now. And it is showing up very, like, glary and everything on camera because it is, like, neon yellow. It doesn't look nearly as pigmented and bright as it does in person on the camera right now. But so far, I've had this in for a week and I'm loving it. This is a brand called Good Die Young. And if you know the band Paramore, Hayley Williams, the lead singer, created this hair color brand. And I was obsessed with her in high school. Paramore was my favorite band. Her hair was goals. Like, I was always doing the orange, the yellow, the red. She's always been known for her really bright hair colors, and I loved her. She's so gorgeous. So, this is the color Steal My Sunshine. And this is an all vegan hair color brand and the reason I didn't do my entire head was because I wanted to give it a go. I've tested out many brands of hair color before and this one looks orange when you first uh, pour it out of the bottle and it was bright orange on your hair so I was like, Oh, this is different because normally with Vivids, um, they're the color in the bottle that they're supposed to look like on your head. But with permanent hair colors, it usually shows the undertone of the color so it doesn't look what it looks like when you rinse your hair out. But this one went on really bright orange, so I was so nervous. But when I washed it out, it was a beautiful yellow color. The things I look for when I am trying out a new color is... How long does it stay? How does it make my hair feel? Um, does it bleed in to other colors? Does it bleed onto my blonde hair? Um, I'm trying to think of all these things that I usually judge hair colors based on. And I have had this in for a week and it's still going strong. I've been shampooing my hair. Because uh, that's what makes a color fade is the more you shampoo, the more the color fades. So I usually try to wash my hair about every three days. But lately I've been doing a lot of spring cleaning. So I've been getting sweaty and my hair has been getting oily. So I've actually been washing it quite a bit and putting this to the test. And so far it's really good. It did not bleed on any of my hair. I left some blonde at the top to see if it would bleed up or bleed onto the section that I left a blonde because I did the yellow underneath. So far, very good. Um, it smells exactly like Earl Grey tea, so if you like that, this is a good smell for you. It's insane, like if you put a tea bag to your face and then smell this, it's the exact same. But I love that these are all good ingredients, cruelty-free, vegan, and stuff like that. I think it's really awesome that she did that. And you do not have to mix this with any type of developer. You would just put it straight on your hair. It is a little pricey. It's $18 for 
five ounces so that's like a bit up there but um so far I'm really liking it and I think I might do my entire head yellow I'm really playing around with that idea so uh we'll see how it goes but so far I'm really happy with this purchase and I wasn't expecting to buy it either if you guys saw my wish list haul this was just the last minute thing that I saw and I was like oh I love testing out new hair color let me get this Paramore Haley Williams heck yeah so there's that um I'm also going to talk about this sample that I received and this is the buxom one wanderlust yeah it's wanderlust my bad um blushes and i am wearing the shade mykonos today if you can see this really bright pink shade on my cheeks is this i have been hearing so many good things about these so i really was happy to get a sample of this and today is my first day trying it so i'm not sure how much I'm in love with it but so far so good it really reminds me of the California blush shade from Benefit Cosmetics it's like the same tone on me but so far I like it as far as first impressions go um, it went on really nice and really pigmented but there's barely you know anything on these uh, it's just a pigment on some paper so um, I'm gonna try to see how many uses I can get out of these and then maybe think about picking up the full size but Kathleen Lights has been talking about those so I've been really wanting to give it a go I also got the Fenty Beauty um Lil Precision Makeup Sponge Duo and I did I have been using these um I've been using the bigger one a lot and today I tried out the smaller one that's why it's a little dirty because I used it for some concealer but I recently ripped my beauty blender, so it was time for me to get a new sponge. And the bottom of this one has like a little velvety soft thing that just feels really nice. But it's actually supposed to be for setting powder. And I honestly have not tried that yet, so I have to give that a go. But as far as the sponges go, they're extremely soft. And so far, they've been working really nicely. So, so far, so good. Pretty happy with my purchase. And I like that you get two for $18. Um, yeah, Fenty just, it keeps killing it for me. They haven't really had anything that I've hated. So, go Rihanna. All right, next I refilled my Dr. Jart Beauty Balm, and this is really interesting. So I am wearing it today, and I've been using this for years. Like, this is like one of my ride or die products, so I know what it's like. <laughs> convenient um I know <laughs> the shade the formula everything like that because I've been using it for so long so this I got it in the same exact shade I always get light to medium and this is actually like lighter than what it normally is it's a little bit darker than this and it smells exactly like sunscreen like literally I squirted sunscreen out of the bottle and I'm about to put it on my body so I'm just going to do that. It is it's just slightly lighter than it usually is. It's like definitely got some white going on in there. So I don't know if they changed the formula or they um accidentally messed up a batch or something. Uh it the consistency and the blendability and all that things, they're the same. But it's slightly lighter and it smells way more like sunscreen and it still says SPF 45 on it, which is what it usually does. And I'm not sure. I'm going to keep using it because, I mean, I got it. It's The shade isn't huge for me because when you blend it out, it's kind of like a skin color anyways. But I don't know. Did they change their formula? Because I'm... I don't know. I'm going to keep trying it and I'll let you know if it's bad or if it's good uh, because this is like one of my ride or die products so I'm almost kind of sad if they changed it but if it's just a bad 
bottle, then that's fine, but we'll see how it goes. I'm really nervous that this is different. I'm nervous. Okay. But I repurchased that, and you guys know if you've been around, I use that a lot. Okay. This bad boy. <laughs> it's a little... A little dusty. I've been using this since the day it came in the mail. I was so excited. This is the Soft Glam Palette by ABH. <laughs> it's got a little hair in it. Brushes fell out. But online, I was looking at this palette, and it's the reason I bought this one last is because it wasn't intriguing me to the point where I was like, I need that and I need it now. I knew it wasn't limited edition so I wasn't trying to jump on the gun and I've been trying to repurchase them all so I have the full collection because now apparently I'm an ABH collector of palettes but this color story just isn't truly me and I was thinking since I've recently gotten engaged, this might be a really good palette to use on my wedding day. It's got some slight pops of color, but more neutral if I don't go with a bold look. I haven't decided yet, but I just wanted this in my collection for collector's purposes as of right now. But then I started using it, and this formula is pretty incredible. I'm almost going to say it's better than the other palettes like it's weird but these colors blend so nicely and they're so pigmented and soft like these shades are so much softer than I'm used like Anastasia already has really soft palettes but this one just feels like buttery smooth and it's crazy but like here, here's glistening and I don't know, but this it, this palette just it's killing me. Like I keep using it. This is the shade bronze, and these shades are just like boom pigmented. And literally, I have no words because she just it's so good all the time. And I've never used this palette before, so I was like. <laughs> People probably have already noticed this way before me, but she has a shade called Sultry in here, and it looks exactly like the Sultry Palette's outer uh, case does, so I thought that was so funny, but people probably already knew that. Uh, I, I was late to the game, but look at that. Like, holy moly. These shades are just, they're crazy. Like, I didn't expect to like this palette as much as I have. And I'm sorry if I keep lisping or spitting at the camera. I uh, bit my lip earlier when I was eating a salad, so I probably sound weird or I'm doing something weird with my mouth because I feel it and it hurts. Um, but let's move on because this video is going to be a million years long if I keep talking. Anyways, pick up the Soft Glam palette. If you're like me and you're like, it's not my favorite, but I kind of want it just to have it. Those shades are awesome they're they're so good i i was shocked i was really shocked so next i picked up the grande liner lash boosting liner i have this on today and this is the first day i'm wearing it so i don't have any um geez this cap's really hard uh i don't have any reviews for you or anything like that Super black, super amazing. I'm going to have to use it a while to see if I notice any lash difference. Um, but this cap, holy crap. Um, really excited. I love their lash serum. That's what's in it. So if it's a good liner and a lash serum in one, that's pretty freaking awesome. It was like $40, so I definitely wanted to wait for the sale for it. But so far... It looks really good. Um, it's not as matte as maybe some people would like their eyeliners. It does have a slight bit of shine to it. Um, I don't know. Can you see it in there? It's not like 100% like bold matte or anything like that. But if it makes your lashes look bomb... And it's a good eyeliner. It's like, yeah, let's let's get it. Let's 
let's do this. Cause, yeah. Okay, I haven't even had it on for that long. And it's not smudging. That's pretty awesome. This is, this is my test for eyeliners. Yep. I love it. I love it already. Um, another thing I got with my points I haven't opened up yet, but this is the Aqua Bomb Moisturizer and the Aqua Bomb Sleeping Mask from Belief. I already know I love the moisturizer, but I've been wanting to try it out again because if you guys saw my Are They Still My Favorites video for March, um, I wanted to give this another go because I haven't used it in so long, but it used to be a favorite of mine. So we'll see how it goes. And then the sleeping mask really intrigued me because I've been liking the Glow Recipe watermelon one. So I want to see how this one goes. That just sounds kind of cool. This bad boy. Let's put you on. I don't even have you on and I don't know why. I'm wearing a tank top and it's like, let's do this. This is the Goldie Rocks Glow Oil by Sol de Janeiro. And I'm so excited I got this. It is so pretty. I actually haven't worn this yet because it's been raining nonstop by us. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Oh, the pump locks. Isn't that really cool? I'm like trying to squeeze it out. Nothing's coming out. Um, but I love that feature. So this is what it looks like. Mine my flappy bathroom. Okay, it smells just like the bum bum cream it feels like it too like when you rub it in it's like all smooth and nice i don't know if you guys can see that i can though it's really fun i have fat arms guys so i don't really want to show you but <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to just be like it's my arm whatever leave me alone but can you guys see the sheen or no <laughs> Here, let's go by the window. Yeah, I don't think you guys can see anything. I'm just being weird now. Okay. Yeah, cool. Um, oh, it's on my hand. Can you see that? Holy crap. <laughs> that's that's fun. Uh I'm gonna I think I'm gonna love this product. It, it smells just like the bum bum cream, and I like being glowy. I think for the summer, it's going to be so fun. I definitely wanted it for a vacation coming up in June, because um, that's going to be really cute. Besides my chunky arms, I'm excited. Okay. I have three or four more products and then we are done and this is already 18 minutes long and I feel like I'm all over the place today I'm just I haven't filmed in a while and my brain is just not there today let's lock this because that's a really cool feature especially for traveling it's awesome but I'm really excited about the smell okay this is another cap that's like okay um, and this was limited edition, this shade is anyways, so I had to get my hands on it because I am pale as ever, and I needed the pale as ever shade, so super excited, not sure why I'm putting this back in the box because I only kept the box for the haul. Yeah, you really can't see it, but I love the way it smells, and now that it's drying, it does feel a little... Sticky? Yeah. Sticky, for sure. So hopefully it'll dry down more and that'll go away. Because that's going to drive me crazy if it's sticky. But sticking with this old de Janeiro, I got the Bum Bum Cream to refill because I am freaking obsessed with this product. And I don't think I'd be able to live without it. So warning, if you pick this up and you use it, you're probably always going to be repurchasing it. Because it's that good. Okay. 
I got the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil Mini in the shade 1. I think it was called like Cool Blonde. And I've been really looking for a light eyebrow shade that does not look freaking weird on me because of how light my hair is right now. Um, I do have this glittery yellow eyeshadow over my eyebrows right now. So it's not truly what this looks like. Um, I just did it for my fun look I have going on today. But... This is what this looks like. Eyebrow pencil swatches are never really that great. But this has been working out nicely and it is so far the best shade I have used in the... Lennox quit licking the floor! In the blonde category that I've been trying out many and they've all looked really weird and like green and like baby poo like they've just been looking bad so this one is the best so far and I love the benefit brow pencil formula so it's been like a ride or die and my favorite so I was really glad that that one has been working out for me I don't know if I'm gonna buy the full size yet I'm gonna keep giving it a go and see if I can find a shade slightly better I don't know cuz if I go yellow my hair changes all the time, so brow products are really hard for me to stick to, so the minis are way better. I got an Hourglass blush. The only things I've ever tried from Hourglass is the Costume Mascara, which is my absolute favorite, and a primer that I did not like. It was like their Veil Primer was not for me. But I got this blush in the shade... Mood Exposure, I think that's called. So this little thing is smaller than the palm of my hand and it was like $25. So I decided to get it during the sale because I have been wanting to try it and people obsessively talk about Hourglass products and their ambient lighting palettes and all that stuff. So I really have been wanting to give it a go. Can you see that? Oh, that's actually really pretty. I like that. I have not tried it out yet, so I'm excited. But holy crap priced for this tiny little like sample size thing. But if you've tried it, you liked it, let me know down below because I'm really excited to give it a go. And the sale is the time to purchase that because that price is cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. I spent my points on a NARS blush and this is the famous orgasm blush that I have never tried. I'm probably the only person in the world that has never tried this and I still have not yet put it on my face but I have swatched it and it is very glowy and very pink so I am intrigued but I wanted to give it that buxom blush a go so I've not yet to try this but this was a hundred point perk and the packaging is just I can do this all day this packaging is genius like it's like I need a stress ball that feels like this that I can just sit here and play with all day because the it's so smooth and amazing my dog toys are up here in my vacuum. I've been steam cleaning the carpets and doing my uh, spring cleaning lately. So that's why if you see things behind me, that's why. Um, that's it, guys. That's everything I spent my money on. Um, I got everything I think I said I was going to get, but a couple other things that I was trying not to get but ended up getting anyways because I have no self-control that's me um but yeah let's see all right we're still a little sticky hmm not loving that did I put too much on maybe I did put a whole glob on my and it's definitely transferring back onto my hand I don't want to be sticky that's not fun it looks really pretty though We'll see. We'll see. I have, I have mixed feelings right now. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's so long. I'm sorry it was all over the place. I felt like I kept saying the same things over and over. And I say um a lot. I know. I'm sorry.
But I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching if you have. And if you stuck around, you're a trooper. And I love you guys. Bye.